Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hopkins Academy. A few days ago, as my mom and I were planning my graduation party, she gave me a box that was full of graduation-themed thank you cards. And there may only be 24 thank you cards in that box, but it reminded me that I have so many people to thank that probably won't get to see one of those notes in their mailbox. And if you're one of those people, I apologize. I guess I'll just have to make a wait list for people that deserve one, but I don't have one for. And this speech is dedicated to those people. Looking around, I see the first group of people that deserve a thank you. And that's all of you. The parents and families of the students that sit up here behind me on this stage. All of you have done so much for each and every one of these students. You've given them love and support through all of their endeavors. You've been five-star chauffeurs. You've funded their activities. And you've given sage counsel whenever it's needed. The family is the root of society, and we all owe you a substantial thank you for everything that each and every one of you have done in our lives. Next, I need to draw attention to the Hopkins Academy faculty and staff. Whether we've been here for two years or six years, all of us have had access to uh, one of the best groups of teachers and staff in the state. Each of the teachers sitting over here has truly taken the time to get to know his or her students personally. They have all helped us grow with all of our different personalities while trying to teach us about the monarchs of England and photosynthesis for six and a half hours a day. Sure, it would have been possible for us to learn and grow by ourselves, but the experience could not have touched that which we have had here at Hopkins Academy, thanks to the wonderful faculty and staff that have been available to us. The faculty and staff that have been so great to us are great because they work with fantastic people in the office. Huge thank yous are in order for our secretaries, Ms. Lord and Ms. Fogarty, for all they do to keep the bureaucratic aspects of our school going, and for always being there to support the students here. I like to call Ms. Cullinan, our guidance counselor, the MVP of our school. She's always there to keep track of everyone and make sure everyone succeeds at what they're trying to do. And of course, we all owe our principal, Mr. Beck, and our superintendent, Dr. McKenzie, sincere thanks, as they have both helped us throughout this year and through the previous years since they've joined us at this, to have an amazing school environment and to go out into the world successfully. The most important people that we here on this stage have to thank, though, are ourselves. We are the ones that have made it here. And while we could not have accomplished all that we have without the guidance and support that we have received, we also could not have done it without our own efforts and dedication to the cause. Tonight is a night for us to sit up here and be applauded but it is also a time for us to applaud ourselves and the traits and wisdom we have gained from our time at Hopkins Academy. Here at Hopkins, we have all discovered our talents. Every individual on this stage behind me is talented. We may all be talented in different, in different ways, but we're all talented nonetheless. Our talents are part of the reason why we are all sitting up here tonight. Whether we're academics, athletes, musicians, artists, or anything else, We've all found our talents and ridden them to whichever successes and accomplishments we have achieved. Our time at Hopkins Academy has also instilled in us a sense of dedication. Hopkins has a long tradition of excellence in several areas, and it's no coincidence. Hopkins students are very dedicated to what they do. And personally, I think dedication is of the utmost importance of everything we do in life. If we are not dedicated, then we cannot achieve what we set out to do. We need to care about what we do, and we need to care about the results of our actions. We cannot be apathetic and expect success. And if the students behind me carry out their future endeavors with the amount of dedication that they have shown here at Hopkins, then you can certainly expect to hear of great things that have been accomplished by the individuals that sit here tonight. There have also been times throughout high school where we have needed to show resilience. Whether that resilience was shown fighting through an integrated science course, or in difficult situations outside of school, we've had to show it. Resilience is what makes us human. We're always going to get knocked down when we go for our goals. And there will always be times when we get the letter that says waitlist instead of accepted, when we have to go through adversity in our families or, or with our friends, and when we get cut from the team. What makes us who we are is what we do in those situations. We can throw in the towel, or we can get back up and keep going for the next goal. We cannot be weak and let the people that want to see us fail, see us fail. We have to keep fighting and we have to keep going because we have to achieve more success. While all of these things are important, they're nothing without hard work. 
Hard work is the single most important thing a person can do. Trying to achieve a goal without hard work is like trying to drive across the country without gas. It's not going to happen. If you want to do something, you have to work for it. You have to study to get a degree. You have to do your job to get paid. You have to practice your instrument to pass your audition. And I'll be the first to admit it, hard work's not fun, but it's necessary. When we're faced with an opportunity to do hard work, we can sit there and complain about it, or we can suck it up and do what we need to do to succeed. The way to view challenges is not as burdens, but as opportunities. Challenges give us the opportunity to show off the abilities we have and to learn more about ourselves and our abilities as a whole. Some degree of narcissism is a human trait. And why would we complain about an opportunity to show off what we can do? Hopkins Academy is a truly special place. It has given us the opportunity to discover our talents, to dedicate ourselves to an ultimate goal, to fight through the challenges that face us, and to work hard to show off our abilities. We've all seen successes, and we've all seen failures. Through it all, we've been supported by the wonderful community at Hopkins and in the town of Hadley as a whole. Now, though, it's time for us to move on. We are all about to go into a world that needs help. Our world needs people like us, people that are talented, dedicated, and resilient hard workers. People like us are the people that need to take on the torch of making our world a better place. At Harvard University, there's a wall around Harvard Yard. And on each side of this wall, there's half of a quote inscribed. And personally, I really like this quote, and I think it applies to much more people than just Harvard students, so I'm going to share it with you. As you enter Harvard Yard, you pass by the inscription, Enter to grow in wisdom. We at Hopkins Academy have entered the building for that very purpose. We've gathered here for the last few years of our lives to grow in wisdom. We've grown so much intellectually, socially, and moralistically. Some of us have grown musically, others artistically, and still others athletically. We've all grown in some way, and we have Hopkins Academy and the people within it to thank for that growth. Then, as you leave Harvard Yard, you pass by the other half of the quote. On this side of the wall, you read, depart to serve better thy country and mankind. Knowledge and wisdom are extremely important, but they're nothing if we do not use them to bring about positive change in the world we live in. We need to remember our American countrymen, but we also need to remember that we are citizens of a much larger world as a whole. We're being called by a world with such problems as ours to go out and offer a hand up to every person living among us. Everyone is important, and everyone deserves the chance to succeed and live a comfortable life. As people that have the resources that we have and that come from the community background that we have come from, it is our responsibility to go out and offer a hand up to those that have not had such advantages. As I near the conclusion of my remarks, I want to challenge my classmates that are sitting behind me tonight. I want to challenge them to really think about what Hopkins has given them or help them find within themselves their talents, their character, their special abilities, and the like. Now I want to challenge them to think about how they can use those things to go out and bring positive change to the world we live in. The change we make does not have to be gigantic. As Ronald Reagan said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. We cannot expect to go out and rid the world of all of its problems by ourselves, but each and every one of us has the capacity to go out and offer a hand up to someone that needs it. I have faith that my classmates can go out and use what Hopkins Academy has given them to make our world a better place. Tonight is a night for gratitude and celebration. We must remember where we have come from, and we must be grateful for the impact that this school and this community have had in our lives. We definitely should celebrate all that we have accomplished and the fact that we have made it to this time in our lives. It is so exciting that we are all about to step off into adult life. But we also need to think. We need to think about what we have gained from our time here in Hadley. And we need to think about how we can go out into the world and use that which we have gained to improve the world we live in. I am beyond honored to represent the Hopkins Academy Class of 2016 as the valedictorian. And if I've learned anything other than what has been written in those textbooks, it's that the students behind me have the capacity to make our world a better place. While I still have the mic, I want to personally wish each and every one of them the best of luck in their future endeavors. They will all certainly do wonderful things. Thank you very much.